aircraft that will turn into a classroom. Okay, so what's up guys? Today um at the Red Clay Studio in Tamale. Okay, so this is like an art studio belonging to Ibrahim Mahama, who is an artist, not the Ibrahim Mahama. You all know, but the artist Ibrahim Mahama. And I'm here for the first time, and this place is very, very like it's amazing. It's like you are living in history, going back in time, you are going to the past, and it's just like I mean, look at this. And every video you are going to see is. Welcome to a tour of the Red Clay Studio located in Tamale, Northern Region. This art studio belongs to Ibrahim Mahama who was named the 73rd most influential African in 2019. One of the purposes of this studio is to expose the narrative of art in Ghana and Tamale. This studio hosts exhibitions, workshops which are held annually in collaboration with other artists. In this room is the work of Ghanaian artist Eric Jemphy who has a photographic background. I used to take us back through the history of photography and use plant extracts to make these plates which simulate images. His work also exhibits the way photography has evolved through the years. So where are we going to? So this is a film by two artists from Denmark. <laughs> so this is an artwork? Yes, this is an artwork. Oh, you know, oh, we are not seeing. When we enter, I thought it was our reflection. Uh, but I'm not seeing. I knew it was. Because when I just entered, I saw the projector. That was the first oh, okay. Yeah. This is also by a French artist who also ah. makes. It's like, it has this kind of effect. I don't know yeah. how to describe it. So the idea was to have light. The only light coming to you is through the people to come from the project. So that you, you kind of feel how you're feeling the way that the, the, the work is. Wow. You know, it's really it's, it's, it's amazing. Things, uh, it's yes. It's just like yeah. going into it. I'm going yeah. to enter. Exactly. You can easily go inside. It's a different experience when you're watching it on TV. Yeah. Yes. It's a different experience when you're watching it on the film. And when you are it's in it, it's a very different thing. This is actually a screen as big as the whole wall from top to down. Mm -hmm. That what? has been divided like this. That is the screen from the top to down. Wow. This is very nice. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Yeah, he's also a Danish artist. It's like he's using reflection to create art. Is that how you how I would put it? Because okay. like because the light reflects, I don't know. I'm So he is actually playing with the perception okay. of the color. So you see a lot of things. You see color in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. But actually, what your eye is seeing is not what you are seeing. So so he also does a similar thing or something close to it using light. So you see this light that is going here. Mm -hmm. The green light is actually what is projecting the director. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. You know, if they mentioned as well, if my eyes are going to be very cool, but I'll just see. I don't know, but my way to go to the camera will yeah. see it. And the white is projecting the green. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so now you get it. So yeah. it's, it's almost a job, but it's not. And then, if you see a reflection going, this is the reflection of this regular. Set. Is it back? No. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, so there's the, 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 you see what the colors that appear on the wall are different. Okay, maybe. One is like green, yeah, so like two different things. Like this side, you know, when it comes to this side. So that's it. <laughs> It's not always some uh, like the same for them. Uh, now you see the reflection from the back. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yes. So it's always changing. It's like the like they're supposed to show this side yeah. and this side. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so so this is what you see here. Right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it looks like that that was one like sixty years ago. Yeah, even beyond. Some beyond. Are, yeah, some are like hundred years, two hundred years. Two hundred years. Oh, even this is three hundred years. Three hundred years. Yeah. Ooh. Is it? You don't. It, it looks stronger than like. You don't believe they are in Ghana? No! Yeah, yeah. This is about 150 to 200 years ago. And like, they are so strong. Yeah, yeah. That's like what tells you the quality of things back then. Who is that? You didn't try something when you said a few days, like it's broken down. Everything is corrupted, this is our means. So this train was in Ghana? Yeah, some of them were in Ghana. Oh. and. Surprisingly, they were not built in Ghana. Okay, they were only they assembled in Ghana. Ghana. Oh, yes. okay, okay. Including the the structures, the buildings. Mm. The buildings were not made in Ghana. Wow. Ghana yes, the railway, the Ghana railways, mm. the structure you see there was not built in Ghana. Okay, they only assembled it in Ghana. What? Wow, that is mind blowing. You don't believe it? Mm. I, I think there is a photograph of it. Let me see. Let me show you. Okay, I think there's a word going on here. So it was done as assembling? Yeah, so the drawings I showed you, yeah. this this is what makes up the drawing. This, these are some of the things that comes. So you see the building and where oh, we are. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You get it. It's similar. Okay. It's called the Parliament of Ghosts. Pal Parliament of what? Yeah, you heard me right. Ghosts. Yeah. Parliament of Ghosts. <laughs> Parliament of Ghosts. It's Why is of, it called a Parliament of Ghosts? It's one of Ibrahim's artworks. So, like I've been saying earlier, um, we are making people realize the various dimensions that art. Mm -hmm. And the buildings you are seeing here are one of them. It is one of them. Whatever you are seeing here is his practice. Okay. He has just extended his practice from the traditional means that we always see mm -hmm. to open institutions. This room, which is almost completed, will be used as a cinema, which will contain seats taken out of an aircraft, and the screen will be as big as the wall you are about to see. So the screen is going to be this huge. So just imagine watching something at this cinema. Why are, we, why are you collecting lanterns? This place, this place is a library. With lanterns? Uh -huh. So, let me just say that maybe or somehow we are going to have these ghosts spread across, across the whole institution. Yeah. yeah, we have wow. some. Some of them will just be hiding in some corner. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we, are so, we are also interested in how um, imagine you being in a space where you, you literally have ghosts. Mm. In post colonial beds. Hey, is it post pre colonial? <laughs> colonial <laughs> beds? <laughs> colonial beds, so this is where they used to sleep on. Then, your staff are a bit of food. We have these uh, stretches. These stretches are coming from uh, World War II. World War, what now? Whoa. World War Two. Yeah, World War Two. Ah, uh, those ones. Yeah. Missing. Yeah. Maybe they go to the war. Where did he get the ball? <laughs> then they go and put the person. No, no, this is World War Two. Like, how, yeah, how did yeah. he see how close you are to history? Wow. Oh, it is wow. You always hear some of these things yeah. from books yeah. or lecturers or teachers, but now you are seeing. Yeah, like you are experiencing what you've seen so in books. Close. Them. These six airplanes are also owned by Ibrahim Mahama, which are some of his artworks. These airplanes have been converted into classrooms for students. If you are wondering how these airplanes got to Tamale from Accra, read the description box below and don't forget to comment. We are allowed to come inside. 
can come in. Hi. It feels scary. Yes. Was this a private air or private owned? Mm -hmm. For this aircraft, I do not know if it's going to be converted into a classroom. So this is the classroom space. A classroom on an aircraft. Yeah, Guys, wow. look at this. This is amazing. There's a classroom on an aircraft. So this is a classroom. An aircraft that will turn into a classroom. Amazing. I don't think there's anything like this in Ghana. No, no. Aside no. from the one that was sent into a restaurant. That is yeah, Ladanti. Yeah, but like la, la, this, la, la, this, la, this is actually yeah, for like education. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Purpose is like. Yeah. So, what do you teach the kids in here? Uh, we have drawing oh, workshops. About the aircraft, we have drawings. No, not necessarily about the aircraft. aircraft. It's just a space we use. So, like I was, I was telling you about the goods, having mm, some of these materials uh mixed within the spaces that we are because we could have actually built a classroom yeah, for that. yeah we have all of these structures yeah. Yeah, we could have built a classroom but it's very important that we use it like this So we just finished our tour of red clay studios here in Tamale and I'm, I'm, I'm just like totally like mind blown. I mean like this place is like owned by just one person, Ibrahim Mahama, who is like here. Yeah, like every little detail here, there's art and it's like you can feel and see the art and like <laughs> I, I have no words but it's unique, it's beautiful, it's amazing and it's a place that you need to visit. I'm, I'm not like... <laughs> videos like this don't forget to subscribe share comment Yay!